Match week 12 of the Hero Indian Super League kick-started the second half of the season, where all the top honours will be decided. Winning streaks were maintained, whilst losing streaks ended in a thrilling week 12 in the Hero ISL. Here's a recap of all the action. Fresh off back-to-back -back victories, FC Goa arrived at the furnace to take on Jamshedpur FC, who were on a seven-match losing streak. The home side dominated the start and took the lead in the 31st minute, courtesy of Ike Goratzina's own goal. Villalaru with the ball in, and they have got the only goal of the game. The Spaniard Quality headed the ball into the net the from a corner piece. to put Jamshedpur FC ahead. The fans here are showing their loyalty tonight and they've been rewarded with the opening goal of the game. It's come from the set piece. Guaracena, though, redeemed himself seven minutes later. And Guaracena makes amends for the own goal at the other end. The 29-year-old nodded home from close range off a fine cross from Macanchote to level the scores. Just five minutes into the second half, Jamshedpur retook the lead Oh, it's a poor mistake by the goalkeeper Diraz, and he'll be walked in by Echem Pandita. Goalkeeper Diraz Singh failed to clear the ball after receiving a back pass. And an alert, Echem Pandita whisked it off from underneath Diraz before slotting it calmly into an empty net. Jamshed Ball looks set to claim just their second win of the season, but Guratzina struck in the 89th minute to grab a point for the goal. It's an equaliser for FC Goa, and the Spaniard scores again. With a 1-0 win in the home fixture in October, Hyderabad were hoping to do the double over Bengaluru FC when they faced the Blues on Friday. The defending champions took the lead in the 26th minute through a well-worked free kick. There you go. Oh, nicely done. Barto Peche! Driven in beyond Gerfriks. And Opeche ends his goal drought in some style. Instead of taking the shot, Ali Nazari provided a quick pass to a darting Bartok Beche, who smashed a low shot past Gurpreet Singh to end his seven-game goal drought. Hyderabad doubled its lead a minute before half-time. Nazari floated across into the danger zone, allowing Opeche to rise high for a header. Good ball across Ogbeche into the top of the net, deflected in. Ogbeche will claim a second goal of the game. It's gone in off Sandes Jingan. Defender Sandes Jingan attempted to clear the ball, but could only deflect it into his own net. In the second half, the home side created a few opportunities, but failed to capitalise on them. And in the 90th minute, the home crowd was silenced entirely when substitute Joel Kianese tapped in a pass from Abdul Rabi to make it 3-0 to hand Bengaluru FC their seventh defeat of the season. Rabi needs to make the right decision here on Beche just holding back. It's Kianese! Guided in for a third, job complete. It's another defeat for Bengaluru. Certainly on Chetri pointing out what's gone wrong. And Manolo Marquez can celebrate another victory, another clean sheet. It's another defeat for Bengaluru. League leaders Mumbai City played host to Chennai FC in the first match of Saturday's doubleheaders. The visitors took the lead in the 34th minute when Matada 4 was caught on the ball and he gave it straight to Dulis Duka. Matada foul. Duka played forward. Here's a chance for Sliskovic. It's over to corner. And Chennai take the lead against Mumbai City for the second time this season. German played it to Petar Sliskovic, who slotted the ball past Purba Lachempa, the sixth goal of the season. Four minutes later, the scores were level. Ahmad Jahu's free kick was headed across the face of Chennai's goal, where Lalanzuela Chante fired a volley into the bottom corner. Chante! Oh, what a finish! Lalanzuela Chante with a little flick of the ball and hit it on the volley. In the 57th minute, Mumbai City completed their comeback with a wonderful build-up play. Sit behind once again, a Poirier in the middle, Pereira Diaz, nice flick back, Stewart! Brilliantly worked goal from Mumbai City FC, flicks and tricks and Stewart finishes and you cannot defend against that. Pippen Singh cut the ball back into the box from the left flank. Jorge Diaz then played a no-look back heel flick 
to set up Greg Stewart, who slammed the ball into the back of the net from close range. Janine had a great opportunity to level the scores in the 64th minute, but substitute Anarutapa failed to hit the target from inside the box. The visitors kept trying to find that equaliser, but Des Buckingham's side played down the clock expertly to register their sixth straight win. Well, they played it out well, Mumbai City FC kept possession at the end to seal a 2-1 win. The second match on Saturday saw the winless North East United FC take on ATK Mohan Bagan in Guwahati. The visitors started on the front foot, with Liston Colasso coming close but failing to hit the target. He knocked back in and Liston set up very well for him. Just couldn't get to all of his laces onto that. At the other end, North East came agonisingly close to taking the lead. But Wilma Jordan's effort got past the goalkeeper but couldn't beat the goalpost. Jordan Hill, he can turn, he turns, he shoots, and he hits the post, unfortunately, for the Highlanders. Not much Brendan Hamill can do there, allows him to turn, and it's almost perfect. No chance of Richard Kett, but it's off the post. The second half started much like the first, with the Mariners attacking the northeast goal, but without any rewards. The Highlanders' plan of sitting back and waiting for an opportunity worked perfectly in the 69th minute. And towards Jordan! <laughs> North East United, finally! Charap found Emily Benny on the right flank, whose cross found Jordan in the middle of the box. The Colombian kept his composure to head the ball into the net. The home side kept their discipline for the remainder of the match to seal their first point and their first win of the season. Finally! A spirited performance from the Highlanders and their first points of the season. The final game of match week 12 saw the Curler Blasters take on Odisha FC at Kochi. The visitors made a strong start and were inches from scoring the opening goal. Rania with the attempt off, off the woodwork. Ivan Kolujny's clearance went straight to Rania Fernandez on the edge of the box. The midfielder let one fly and saw it ricochet off the crossbar before a tightly marked Adrian Luna fired the rebound high. If the first half belonged to Odisha, the hosts took control in the second. In the 71st minute, Sal Abdul Samad brilliantly lobbed the ball into the path of Nihil Sudesh, but he just evaded the substitute. Those late runs that can be very tricky, and he almost gets to that. Seven minutes from time, Giselle Canaro's shot hit the near post and fell into the path of Marco Leskovic. Oh, he's taken it. Oh! Off the woodwork! The defender decided to cross rather than shoot at the empty goal and gave possession away to the juggernauts. In the 86th minute, the Earl of Blasters finally got their goal. This time Omrinder comes out, misses, and there's the header! Rinder Singh completely missed Bryce Miranda's cross from the left into the box and Sandeep Singh headed the ball into an empty net. The win helps the Curler Blasters stretch their unbeaten streak to seven games. How the heavens resound with unkind chuckles on Orisha! So FC Goa managed to draw a Jamshed ball. Hyderabad FC proved too strong for Bengaluru. Hard-fought home wins for Mumbai City and the Curler Blasters, but the result of Match Week 12 was North East United FC getting their first win of the season. With that, the Curler Blasters climb up to third spot for the first time this season. FC Goa also move up a place to fifth, whilst Mumbai City remain at the top of the table.